Some other quick notes about the end of the season. Now, here's something a lot of people, you wonder how good a season the Bruins had and why they might just cruise to their second straight Stanley Cup victory. Well, the Bruins set 32 National Hockey League records on this season. Boston Globe columnist Harold Case calls the Bruins perhaps the best team ever. But if you know Harold Case and most of the other Boston writers, nothing has changed in 50 years. Jack Edwards is the biggest homer in hockey media these days, although the guys from Chicago in in 2021 might give him a run for his money. Harold Case uh, was gushing over just how great the Bruins are, and he couldn't see any other team even coming close to what the Bruins have done this year or being this good ever again. But we do have a story about the Bruins setting all these records, and it's from United Press International. It's pretty much uh, neutral on who... Uh, they root far and their story says that when the adding machine stopped clicking hours after the Bruins 7-2 victory over Montreal Canadiens in their final game of the season the Hockey Hall of Fame collected five sticks in the Boston dressing room to mark the most prodigious scoring feats in NHL history. Phil Esposito showed the way with nine individual records, which, of course, figured in the 14 team records set by the Bruins machine. Esposito's record 76 goals and 152 points played a major role in the club's mark of 399 goals, wiping its own two-year-old record of 303 in a season. Esposito with Ken Hodge and Wayne Cashman combined for four one-line records in goals, total points, uh, while Espo had a mark of seven hat tricks in a season. And even though we don't know what the future holds here in 1970-71, you got to think that mark is going to be one that would be very difficult for anybody to live up to. Now, as a team, the Bruins weren't content with simply breaking uh, existing records, they absolutely destroyed them. The previous high for victories in a season was 46. This year, the Bruins were the winners in 57 games. Now, of course, we had 78 games in a season. There were only 70 up until the 67-68 season, so they had eight more games than uh, the great teams uh, in other years, but still, they obliterated that record. The previous mark for points was 103, and Boston accumulated 121 this year. And the same was true for home wins, 33 to break a record of 29, and road victories. They had 24 road wins against the old record of 20. The Bruins really ran wild in the shorthanded goal department, rolling up an incredible 25 on the season including a pair of long-haired Derek Sanderson in the uh, Sunday lineup. He scored two in that final game. The previous record for shorthanded goals by a team in a season was 14. You want to know just how much of an offensive juggernaut this Bruins team was? Four Bruins players scored more than 100 points. Ten Bruins had more than 20, 20 goals or more. Bobby Orr rolled up 102 assists and 139 points, which, of course, those are all records for a defenseman. And five years ago, you wouldn't even dream this could happen. Left winger John Busick and right winger Ken Hodge both entered the record books for assists and points for their positions. Those records, by the way, wiped out the names of a couple of guys uh, called Gordie Howe and Bobby Hull from the record book in the process. In one final record, the Bruins also managed a team mark for home attendance of 584,748 fans who fought their way into Boston Garden during 39 home dates. That mark was 20,000 over Boston's previous high, which was set one year earlier. So maybe 
With all this, it's not surprising that the Boston Bruins are expected by most people to romp through the Stanley Cup playoffs with little difficulty and hoist the Stanley Cup for the second time in as many years. <laughs> 